Welcome to the Multiple Sclerosis Quiz. How much do you know compared to people on Twitter who answered 52% of these questions correctly? Let me know how you did afterwards in the comments below, but keep your cursor on that pause button because I'll reveal the answer immediately. Number one, how common is multiple sclerosis in the US? One in 500, one in 5,000, one in 10,000, or one in 20,000? Twitter says it's one in 10,000, a very rare disease, and 18.5% even say one in 20,000. This is the approximate prevalence of neuromyelitis optica, a very rare disease. If you think about it, you can name numerous celebrities with MS, Montel Williams, Christina Applegate, Selma Blair. This would be very unlikely for a very rare disease. The actual prevalence is around 1 in 500, maybe even closer to 1 in 350. In fact, there was a study by the National MS Society showing that roughly 900,000 people are living with MS, many of them undiagnosed. And if you look at this chart to the right, the prevalence seems to be increasing. Number two, what is the average age of MS onset? 20, 30, 40, or 50? According to Twitter, 64.2% say 30, which is correct. In which ethnicity is MS least common? Caucasian, Asian, Hispanic, or black? According to Twitter, it's Asian, though it's close, 44.8% versus 37.3% saying black people are least likely to have MS. This is a study with my name on the paper in Kaiser Permanente in Southern California, and you can see the prevalence is roughly equal between whites and blacks, though Asian people have a dramatically lower risk, roughly one-tenth the prevalence of other ethnicities. The incidence also seems to be lower in Native Americans and First Canadians. How many people with MS have played in the National Basketball Association? Zero, one, two, or three? Twitter guesses probably that it's one, 33% plurality, but they're right. And it's Chris Wright, who previously played in the NBA and now plays professionally in a Spanish league. Be careful if you look him up because there's actually another professional basketball player with the exact same name. What happens to the risk of MS attacks or relapses during pregnancy? They decrease by two-thirds, they decrease by one-third, they increase by one-third, or they increase by two-thirds. Twitter astutely answers correctly that they decrease by two-thirds, and this is one of many such studies demonstrating a dramatically decreased risk of relapses during pregnancy, a phenomenon which occurs in numerous other autoimmune diseases. In which European country is MS most common? Norway, Italy, France, or Spain? Twitter correctly answers Norway. They didn't memorize the prevalence in different countries. They just understood that the prevalence is higher further from the equator and is quite high in northern European countries. You can see close to the equator, such as in Cuenca, Ecuador, the risk is only 1 in 25,000. Number seven, deficiency of this vitamin is linked to MS. Vitamin A, B12, C, or D? Twitter correctly answers D, 85% correct here, and this is extremely well known, and this is just one example of a study looking at the conversion from clinically isolated syndrome, meaning a single demyelinating event, such as optic neuritis or transverse myelitis, the risk of conversion to multiple sclerosis based on vitamin D levels less than or greater than 50 nanomoles per liter, and you can see the risk is higher in people who have lower levels of vitamin D, the top solid line. There's also an increased risk of MS in general and worse prognosis in people with lower vitamin D. Number eight, according to the MS EPIC study at the University of California, San Francisco, regarding the prognosis of relapsing multiple sclerosis, what percentage of people who have had MS for 10 years or more require a cane to walk or more mobility assistance? 5%, 10%, 15% or 20%. Twitter says 20%. Ooh, so pessimistic. The actual answer is 5%. In fact, here's the data. The real answer is 4.7%. And after 20 years, it's only 16.2% with a remainder around 84% walking independently without a cane. Though this excludes people with progressive MS who on the average have a worse prognosis. Number nine, who first formally described multiple sclerosis in the medical literature. 
William Osler, Hippocrates, Louis Pasteur, or Jean-Martin Charcot? Twitter says Jean-Martin Charcot, which is correct. It's this French neurologist. Number 10, which change in weather often temporarily worsens symptoms of MS? Cold, heat, low barometric pressure, or high barometric pressure? According to Twitter, 80.4% say heat, which is correct. The phenomenon of worsening symptoms due to heat, exercise, or fever is known as Utoff's phenomenon and is very common. Number 11, when was the first FDA approved drug for multiple sclerosis? 1973, 1983, 1993, or 2003? Twitter says it's 1993, which is correct. That's when beta serin was approved, though many drugs were used off-label prior to that, such as steroids and cyclophosphamide. Number 12, how many drugs are FDA approved for multiple sclerosis? 2, 6, 11, or 23? Twitter correctly answers that it's 23, and you can see the timeline of approval of different drugs, along with a list of approved drugs divided into injectables, oral medications, and infused medications, according to the National MS Society, and many others, well over 40 total, are used off-label. Number 13, how many Nobel Prizes in medicine have been awarded for multiple sclerosis research? Zero, one, two, or three? Twitter pessimistically answers zero, which is correct. I looked through all the Nobel Prizes in medicine and nothing have anything even close to do with MS. Some do have something to do with neuroscience in general. Number 14, when did MRI scans, which are used to diagnose MS, become commercially available? 1960, 1970, 1980, or 1990? On Twitter, it's a tie, 38.2% saying 1980, which is correct. I'll give them that one. It was very hard to diagnose MS accurately prior to 1980, and I in fact talked to a prominent older neurologist who will go unnamed, who told me he inherited some patients who were diagnosed with MS for decades who later had their first MRI, which was completely normal, and he felt the diagnosis was actually erroneous. Number 15, use of which substance has been reported to worsen multiple sclerosis, tobacco, marijuana, cocaine, or opioids? Twitter says tobacco, which is correct. Smoking cigarettes in numerous studies has been found to increase the risk of MS and also on average worsen the prognosis of MS, although this effect is fairly modest. Number 16, how many people with multiple sclerosis have played Major League Baseball? Zero, one, two, or three? Twitter says two, but it's close. The real answer is one, Stan Belinda, the relief pitcher who had an 11 year career and continued to pitch after the diagnosis of MS. Number 17, the spouse of this Republican politician has or had MS. John McCain, George Bush Sr., Mitt Romney, or Bob Dole? Twitter says it's Mitt Romney, which is correct. It's Ann Romney, his wife. Number 18, which type of infections are inversely related to the risk of multiple sclerosis? Bacteria, viruses, fungi, or parasites? Twitter says that it's viruses. This is not correct. It's parasites, and the effect is very dramatic. In areas of the world with the highest parasite risk, the risk of MS is the lowest. In fact, intentionally infecting people with parasites has been proposed as a treatment. This is a publication in the New England Journal of Medicine where people with MS were randomly assigned to be intentionally infected with hookworms versus placebo, and those getting the hookworms had 50% fewer relapses, no fooling. Number 19, which virus is linked to MS? Epstein-Barr virus, cytomegalovirus, human herpes virus 6, or herpes simplex virus? And Twitter is ice cold, 92.5% have it right. It's EBV Epstein-Barr virus. This is a famous study from Harvard showing that virtually everyone gets infected with Epstein-Barr virus prior to developing MS. In this study, there was only one lone exception. There's very strong evidence that EBV may be part of the cause of MS. Number 20, which part of the nervous system is not affected by MS? The optic nerve, the dorsal root ganglia, the brainstem, or the spinal cord? And Twitter is surprisingly sharp with neuroanatomy, 79.6% saying the dorsal root ganglia, which are part of the peripheral nervous system, spared by MS. Number 21, according to a study at Cedar sinai and UCLA, this percentage of people diagnosed with MS actually have something else, 20%, 30%, 40%, or 50%. 
Twitter says 20%. This is correct. And this is the publication where an 18% misdiagnosis rate was reported. First author, Dr. Marwa Casey. Number 22, MS is more common in women than men by this factor. Two times more likely, three times more likely, four times more likely, or five times more likely. Twitter says three times more likely, which is correct. This is a phenomenon common in many autoimmune diseases that they're more common in women than men. Number 23, when was MS first described in the medical scientific literature? 1668, 1768, 1868, or 1968. Twitter says 1868, which is correct, though historical descriptions of MS go long back, but the pathophysiology was not really understood. Those people were sort of diagnosed with MS retrospectively. So that's the end of the quiz. How did Twitter do? Well, they did pretty well. 19 out of 23 correct as a plurality, although the overall accuracy of individuals was 52.5%, or roughly 12 out of 23 questions correct. How did you do by comparison? Post in the comments below. Were there any inaccuracies in my quiz? It's hard to verify for sure that there weren't other NBA or MLB players with MS that I just didn't know about. And do you have any suggestions for future videos?